point. So we are expecting updated guidance shortly, but you're right, it is October holidays this week for some children, next week for others. It's my understanding that this guidance has hit a few speed bumps along the way, and that's the reason we don't have it yet. So a panel which advises the government on the science of COVID in schools, it's my understanding that it is recommended that secondary pupils can remove their face coverings while they're seated in class. But there's some teaching unions aren't happy about this. They would rather we waited a little while longer till more teenagers are vaccinated and until COVID rates come down even further. So what do we think is going to happen? What's likely to change? So alongside that requirement for secondary pupils not to have to wear masks when they're seated anymore, I expect this guidance will also include things like face-to-face -face parents' evenings and more assemblies in school. So more of that face-to-face -face interaction that pupils and teachers would have been used to in schools pre-COVID. Uh, what's the situation at the moment when it comes to case rates in schools? Yes, yeah, so we know that when schools went back at the end of summer, there was a, a, a big spike in cases and that was partly put down to the return of schools. And since then, rates have been dropping. So for example, 7th of September, 10,000 pupils off school with COVID in Scotland. 5th of October, that was just last week, there were just below 4,000. So you can see those rates are dropping. It's also interesting to note that in England, there's no requirement requirement for face coverings in school at all at the moment, although their schools went back a little later. They're starting to see that spike that we saw in August and September, and some schools there are asking whether they should potentially look at reintroducing face coverings. So while we're looking at maybe losing them in some settings, they're looking at potentially bringing them back. Right. Really interesting stuff. Lucy, thanks very much indeed for that.